into a foolish discussion and I realized that there are certain people who are trying to make themselves relevant and the worst thing you can do is divert your energy talking to people who are no longer relevant. Christians are no longer relevant to the Pan-African discussion. The kind of discussion that he wants to have about uplifting people, they're no longer relevant. Which a religion that basically tells you to sit down when somebody's oppressing you and turn the other cheek and walk the second mile. What kind of religion is that? You know, like like what kind of religion is that? Right? That's so they can go for the easy, lazy reach as he's doing there. But what he will not tell you is the book of Philemon in the Bible says, Slaves, obey your masters. And if you run away from a cruel master, you are obliged to return and subject yourself to the oppression of said master. That's the book he follows. And I would like for him to be able to answer that. If these people want to be relevant to black people, they should be able to answer that. Not the absolute rubbish that they're discussing at the moment. What he's discussing is beneath anybody's intellectual on this um, quality. The quality of discussion that I would like to have. It's not that. Because I would tell you, I lived in Africa long enough to know full any ethnic groups. I know about India, where girls of 12, girls of 8, marry older men. This is going on today, right up to today. And nobody has any problem with that within the sociological context of a given culture. What he is doing is trying to anachronistically take that out of its context, decontextualize it, and present it as something, looking at it through as if he's talking about, what's the guy called R. Kelly? As if he's talking about R. Kelly. Now that's what he's trying to do. Now, when a person has asked you, invited you to a discussion and started like that, he has us, he stacked a loaded deck. You cannot play his by his rules and expect to win. That's stacking a loaded deck. I want to ask him why in his book they encourage you to be oppressed. 
to turn the cheek. What about that? Ask him about that. I ain't got time for that because for me, Christians are not relevant. They're not, I'm, I'm sorry, they're not. Any book that encourages passivity, non-violence, is no part of my, my part. Of, I don't live like that. I'm not encouraging any of my family, any of my daughters to forgive. And I ain't forgiving anybody who rapes any one of my kids. I'm praying for them. I'm saying hate the sin, love the sinner, and all the rest of that. I hate what he did, and there are certain things you cannot divorce from what the person has done. You get a guy who's a, 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 a mass murderer, are you going to tell me I'm going to hate the sins he's done, and I'm going to love the mass murderer? No, I can't do that. I like him, sir. What's up? You all right, son? Yeah, yeah, it's too cold for me. Don't come out here. I just stepped through from the serpent. That's all. I'm okay. I'm good to see you. Yeah, nice to see you guys. Yes, yes. So you see, what I'm trying to say about this simply is this. To enter a discussion like that is to walk into a game in which he has all the cards. He has all the cards. And you don't play like that. And I did go there. I only realized that he's punching above his weight. He started picking on. He, he ignored me and started picking on some kid. But I'm glad he did it in the sense because that's, that's useless. There's nothing he is prepared to learn from me and there's nothing he can teach me. So that's it. That's all I got to say. Yeah, I think somebody wants to see me for something. All right, yeah, it's like Alex, bro. Yeah. Hey, what's happening? I told you that we need him in there, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you? What's up, brother? You good? Yeah. You all right? Long time. Thank you.